Hello viewers welcome to my channel. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of The Witcher show. A crucial turning point in the character's narrative that prepared Ciri for her adventure in Season 4 of The Witcher was represented by Ciri's visions of the desert in Episode 7 of Season 3. Viljeforts and Geralt engaged in combat as the Thanid coup began in The Witcher Season 3, Part 2. Ciri unintentionally stepped through a portal in the Tor Lara Tower and was transported to the Korath Desert while the Witcher engaged the sorcerer in combat to save his child of destiny. The Witcher Season 3, Episode 7 played with the line between what is real and what is inside Ciri's mind. The Witcher Season 3's desert episode also saw Ciri interacting with a vision of Falca, a half-elf princess from the past who believed she was denied of her destiny. This vision of Falca also impersonated two important people in Ciri's life, Kalanth and Pavetta, as she tried to break Cirilla's spirit. Ciri's interactions with those visions set up her important decision of relinquishing her powers in The Witcher Season 3's ending. Ciri's vision of her grandmother Kalanthatize into the lion cub of Sintra's origin story, which audiences saw back in The Witcher Season 1. While Ciri was aware that this was not the real Kalanth, who died when Sintra fell in The Witcher Season 1, the character was still affected by this vision of her grandmother. Of course, this was not the real Kalanthi, nor was it an accurate representation of what Ciri's grandmother would have said to her during such a moment. The Kalantha vision was actually a vision of Falca, who wanted to spark Ciri's desire for power and revenge against humans. This is why Kalantha questions why Ciri continues to hide when everyone is trying to capture her and use her powers for their own goals. Kalanthi recalled how, when Sintra fell, she went out on her own terms. Ciri, on the other hand, has been hiding and relying on others to survive. Interestingly, Ciri confronted Kalanthi with how the Queen of Sintra killed those like her as an elves or half-elves, which only increased the tensions between humans and elves on the continent. Those interactions between Ciri and Kalanth played in favor of the mysterious presence of Falca, who wanted Ciri to use her powers against men's kingdoms. Earlier in the episode, Ciri's journey through the Korath Desert saw her interacting with a vision of her mother, Pavetta. Pavetta of Sintra first appeared in one of the Witcher Season 1's timelines and died off-screen when Ciri was very young. Ciri's parents both presumably died in the ocean, although the Witcher later revealed that Ciri's dad, the White Flame, was alive. Ciri's vision of her mother reveals how the princess has always been somewhat resentful about Pavetta getting into that ship without her and never coming back. To break Ciri's spirit, this vision of Pavetta accused the girl of being a burden to those who care about her. The girl was presented by Ciri's vision of Pavetta with the fact that Geralt and Yennefer must now put their lives in jeopardy in order to protect her which led Ciri to declare that they are now her family. This relates to Ciri's later in the episode visions in which Jaskier, Yennefer, and Geralt all perish as a result of her. In those circumstances, Ciri had to make a crucial decision. She could either use her skills to defend herself and her comrades, or she could give them up and avoid Geralt and Yennefer. Ciri choose choice two paving the way for her trip with the rats in season four of The Witcher.